This early look at Metro Exodus is sponsored by the Epic Games Support a Creator program. What you're about to see is a short preview of Metro Exodus presented without commentary, because honestly I think it really does speak for itself. That being said, I will have a few thoughts to wrap things up at the end of the video. This footage was recorded on all ultra settings at 1440p and 60fps. Make sure you guys crank up your settings on the YouTube player to see it at full quality. If you're not familiar, Metro Exodus is the third in a series of incredibly detailed post-apocalyptic games inspired by a set of famous Russian novels. This latest Metro game takes you out of the Metro and into an open world environment, with a lot of inspiration, in my opinion, from the original Stalker games, which were some of my favorite open world shooters from last generation. If you guys like what you see in this video and you want to pick up the game for yourself, you can do so via the link in the description, and that'll help this channel out along the way. One final note, I am going to cut this footage down quite a bit to avoid spoiling the entire story. There are some spoilers, but I want this video to just be a overview of what this game offers with a bit of the story and a bit of the open world parts, so don't be afraid of spoiling the entire thing. I cut a lot of it out. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went out with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limits zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction, and Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch to radios! What? Are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right?
Attention! The turntable is switching on. to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. You'd better not walk into the light. Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Everything is under control. On, Don't sweat. Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! Center came under enemy attack. Changing position, Atyom. Great 
job, Artyom. We're inside. Ah, the engine is here. Go down with Seri and check the ravine. Yes, sir. Artyom, they got Yelnek. We have to get closer. Redeploy to the generator room. Are you for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? You only have an healthy plan for tomorrow. It's bound to be canceled now. Just stay put for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jan. the turntable mechanism on. With no time, turn it on. together. Stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Uros, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Oh, come How on! How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick to the camera! So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. Still, 
I would like to know what's on the end of your chain. Hey folks, Dave here. Just want to cut in for one second to explain how this train is going to work. It's going to be your home base and you're going to be able to upgrade it and talk to people and actually freely roam around it as you're traveling between the different uh, levels, if you will, in the game. Don't forget, you can pick up a copy of this game for yourself via the link in the description. Coming up next, though, is just a little bit of the first open world section to give you guys an idea of what the exploration is going to be like. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life. The life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! <laughs> Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta well, say, that was one flimsy <laughs> roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. 
Maybe they serve the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Ah, a boat! You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Oh, yeah. 
father, Salantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed. And welcome! guys well i'm gonna have to stop things there for now i hope this video was informative and I hope you guys have enjoyed this preview of the gameplay here in metro exodus i have really enjoyed my time with this game so far this was a 30 minute video but that's about uh, six hours of footage that i used to cut it down i've been playing extremely slowly and just soaking in all the details if you guys want to do the same, don't forget you can pick up your own copy via that link in the description and you'll help the channel out as well. For now, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.